have our surprise speaker today. I was told a week or two ago that this man had another engagement and could not be here tonight. Well, he has priorities. He's going to introduce Joe McDermott for us. Would you please welcome West Seattle's King County Executive, Dow Constantine. Hello, Admiral. How's everybody doing? times over the decade that I never thought I'd see this night come. I bet that you think that too, don't you, Joe? Uh, you know, I uh, grew up in this neighborhood. I still live in this neighborhood. Uh, my whole family's here. Uh, I see my daughter, Sabrina, who's almost three back there. Hi, honey. <laughs> and my wife, Shirley, and I saw my brother Blair just walk in. My parents are here. And John and Lois Constantine. Now, I say all this. Uh, we, uh, we, we grew up right over this way, about five blocks. Uh, Shirley and I and Sabrina still live across from mom and dad. And when I was a little, little kid, mom brought me here uh, toward the end of 1964 uh, for our, our second time seeing Mary Poppins. I was just about Sabrina's age at the time. And I remember because it was a really big theater at the time, the way she got me through the movie was having me run the entire length of the aisle about 25 times to uh, <laughs> calm down. When I was a little older, I used to ride my Schwinn Stingray up Grayson Street and then over and up Wait, And when you came over the top of Grayson there, you could actually see the old mast that was on top of the theater. It had a neon crow's nest. A lot of you remember, don't you? You could see it rise up as you got over the top of the hill and then disappear again as you rode down the other side. Uh, my brother, Blair, and I were talking just the other day about us coming here as still quite little kids to see, probably quite uncomprehendingly, Fiddler on the Roof, which I saw a few times here. Uh, the much quality cinema more on into the 1970s when I was in uh, junior high and high school. Great films like uh, Dirty Mary, Crazy Larry, and things like that. Uh, but. The point is that this place was a, a place where West Seattleites, where Admiral came together. And every community needs places. Place matters. We need a place to gather in community. We need an anchor, something that we have in common, something that holds us together, besides the fact that our houses are located near each other. And to lose this would have been really tragic for the integrity the, the cohesion of this Admiral community, to have it back and to have it a place where we can come together again and we don't allow to see the same movie is uh, a remarkable asset that is going to help us build an even stronger place. I'm so pleased to introduce someone who, like many of you, has a really strong claim to Admiral District cred. Uh, he grew up, I'm not going to steal his thunder, but he grew up, he could, if he had a good arm, could have hit this place with a rock from his front yard. Your King County Council member, our chair of the King County Council, my friend, Joe McDermott. This is your history. This is my history. Indeed, this is our history, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I saw the first movie I remember seeing. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs <laughs> at the Admiral. I saw The Sound of Music with my grandmother at the Admiral. Three generations of my family and family friends came and saw Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. <laughs> Where? At the Admiral. I do promise you, before you go see T Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, whether it's just your college friends, or it's your parents and your grandparents and their friends as well, you always stop at the Caddyshack for a bunch of beer. Yeah. <laughs> because Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure is much funnier after beer at the Caddyshack. Trust me. <laughs> and the first movie that my nephews have seen was Cars, right here at the Admiral. I had the pleasure of taking my nephew to see cars here at the Admiral. And my husband and I were sitting on, sitting on either side of him. He was sitting in the middle. And as the opening credits started and the opening theme song, he jumps up and Michael and I 
her at the ready because we think he's going to run down the aisle and take off. We don't know where he's going. No, he's three. He's standing up to dance through the opening number <laughs> in his place. There are lots of reasons to come to the movie theater. As Dell mentioned, I did grow up two blocks from here. And there were those nights, occasional, but there were those nights when mom decided she needed theater popcorn. And we would walk over and talk our way past the ticket booth just to go to the concession stand, buy popcorn, and walk back home. Woo!